Welcome back. Now, the 90s will be remembered as one of the greatest eras of South African football. 1995 and 96 were watershed years for Orlando Pirates and Bafana Bafana, who were crowned kings of Africa. The era was also known for its skillful players who, ha who had the freedom on the ball to showcase their skills. In the special report, Ronald Masinda looks at the culture of showboating in South African football. <laughs> Before the Premiership era, South African football stadiums were usually packed to capacity. The game was thriving as fans were treated to an array of skills. Back then, showboating was part of SA football culture and it provided fans with plenty of banter at social gatherings. You can call it showboating, but uh, I think in our time we, we prefer to call it entertainment because that was uh, probably the time when, uh, you know, our football was at its height. You know, there was great football, there was passion around the game that uh, we were playing and there was a lot of support. Local football received a huge facelift when the Premier Soccer League was established in 1996. Clubs had to win games at all costs as more money was invested in the game. The change also saw coaches adapt a different approach to local football. We are more professional now than we were probably 50 years ago. So it is not only entertainment now, it's a business and, and based on that, I don't want my players to showboat at the cost of us winning the game. The monetary rewards of staying in the top flight are substantial. The 16 clubs participating in the APSA Premiership receive a season preparation fee of 4 million rand at the start of their campaigns. Added to that is a monthly grant of 1.5 million, which they receive from the PSL. It's 1-1 here. Is a chance now for Mamelo de Sundown. The fall! League champions pocket a winner's check of 10 million, and there are also sponsorships and prize monies on offer in the various cup competitions. With so much at stake, it's no wonder why this season's league champions feel strongly against showboating. It's, it's showboating helps to score goals and win the game, then showboating must be there. But if showboat is when some people are in the box to, to score and you are taking the ball there and you are standing on top of the ball, not in my team. You must make a number of entries inside the box, you must score, you must make assists, and if you can do that within showboating, perfect. But, I mean, imagine we are losing 3-0 and I'm on top of the ball. I mean, really. If you do showboating, you must tell me how many times you went into the box, how many you have scored, how many you have assisted, and how many you have helped us to win the league. You helped us in, in NetBank Cup, you have helped us in, uh, MT, uh, in the Telecom Cup, and you helped us to win the league. Then bring the showboating. If those people who are doing that, they win nothing, I don't know. If we can go uh, back, a few seasons back, we are the only one team that has won 24 nil. It's professionalism, brother. So whatever we do, we always put professionalism in the field of play. So that's why we are there. And uh, we, in terms of scoring, we are free scoring. We're a free scoring team. We don't even have it. We are not even counted on, on top scorers. It's because everybody at Sundowns is capable to score goals. So we are, free, we are a free scoring team. I prefer scoring the goals because if you want to look, win the game, the games, you want to compete in Africa, you have to, to score. That's the main important thing. Some players don't agree with these sentiments. Playmaker Mark Mayambela believes gifted players should be given more freedom on the ball. Skillful players are, are confidence players. You know, when a player is confident, uh, the player can do well. You know, and with art, with skillful, skillful players, obviously we would like to use our skills yeah, to, to build our confidence. The greater fitness and temper of modern football seems to demand a results-based approach as well as less room for players to showboat. 
coaches are after all the ones in the firing line if their teams don't produce results. Ronald Masinda, Cape Town.